We're back, and we're gonna click on this curdled milk. Don't touch that curdle with the milk. Curdle the milk. Okay. Uh, he said something about Homestar, so we're gonna go back to the locker room Don't here in a second. Don't touch that hurdle. I can't touch anything. I can't touch the hurdle. I can't touch the curdle. And I can't touch the turtle. So what can I touch? Now let me guess. Everything down here rhymes as well. Okay. But the Boy, that looks heavy. No! Oh. Okay. Well, I guess those are something else. Can I talk to this one? Hey, I think there's something wedged up in Coach Z's no-fi speakers. Or maybe it's a sunspot. Hmm. Let's see about getting them to work. Oh, maybe now I can use the microphone? And try to, like, scream something out? Let's see. Do a quick kids always check. Maybe I can run faster. Yeah, there we are. Like a double click. Yeah. Hey, don't go messing with my booming system. Okay. Oh my god. Now that I know you can run, that changes everything. Gorsh, I couldn't have ordered a better day for a race. Gorsh. God. I love Homestar. Alright, in the locker room. Go. Go. Come on. Uh, you win. You win. You win. Uh, okay. Oh, apparently the Team Girl Squad thing is a collectible. Maybe we'll 100% this. We'll see. We will see. Midget Thumb Wrestler. My awesomeness level. Uh, okay. Wait, what about the text message? I wonder if getting into a Homestar's roomy head would increase my chances in the race. Should we give it back to him? No way. Yeah, you're right. We shouldn't give it back to him. Uh, some bad text message. Ah, no whatever. one cares. Let's talk about showers. I know exactly how to tell you this, man. But you reek. Really? I just took a power shower a few minutes ago. Well, let me check. Nope. Ah, I'm fresh as a biscuit. Sounds like one of those smelt slash delt situations to me. I really think you should take a shower. And I really think you're creepily obsessed <laughs> with my personal hygiene. Uh, one more time? I know exactly how to tell you this. Nope. Really? <laughs> nope. The race? Ready for the big race to the whatever? Almost. I've warmed up, showered, and plucked my eyebrows. Now I'm just going through my pre-race psych-em-ups. Are you running a race yet? I'm not fully psyched yet. A little bit amped, maybe 50% riveted, but not quite psyched. Is this bothering you? I'm not touching you. Is this bothering you? Head in your game. Stay focused. Stay electric. Believe the cheese. One more time. Ready for the big race? Yeah. Uh Celebration? Not that I care, but how are the plans for your stupid moron party coming along? I don't know, but it's been at least two minutes since Marzipan called me, so I assume it's going great. Not that I care, but how are the plans for you? Mm, okay, okay. This mm. place, give me the jibblies. See ya. Fight or flight, big champ. No turning back. You made the sandwich, now step in it. And now the phone? The uh, phone? Nah. Yeah, you're right. Put that back. Yep. Those are Coach Z's gym showers, a.k.a. home of a thousand and one humiliations. Trophy case. That's Coach Z's trophy case, where all sorts of frightening and obscure achievements are celebrated. Go Personally, I'm more of a bubble bath kind of guy. A few scented candles, a glass of Chateau Boulet, a loofah glove, a... Oh, sorry, kind of lost myself for a second there. All right, let's... Explore lockers. Okay. Let's see. Full length mirror, stunner shades, three thousand dollar velvet training bag. Yep, this must be Pom Pom's locker, all right. This one. Get inside. Nope. Okay. Limousine. Looks like Strong Mad forgot his limousine, but they're in space. Lunchbox again. <laughs> 
Can I take it? Normally I take everything that's not bolted down. But the last time I came between Strong Mad and his lunch, he put my uvula in a sleeper hold. Maybe we can take Pom Pom stuff? Shut up. Even Pom Pom's locker is a bachelor pad. I think there's even a hot tub in here somewhere. Jeez, even Pom Pom's exercise bag has rims. I take the bag, but Pom Pom's probably got it all low jacked up. Hmm. Okay. Uh, the office. Even if it weren't locked, I'd rather not go into Coach Z's office. Or the Temple of Butt Pattery, as it's come to be known. I think there's a poster there? I can't. Coach Z it. keeps his office yeah, I can locked see, like, while he's out on the track. Looking texture. Okay. So wait. No. Okay. Let's get out bubble, of here. Bubble, baby, buggy, bubble. Bubble, baby, buggy, bumpers. There's something I can give him? I better not. The last time I tried to use the detector indoors, it microwaved off Strong Mad's eyebrows. We couldn't tell how mad he was for weeks. Let's use it outdoors then. Oh. Okay. That, that doing anything? If that turtle doesn't keep running away, I might have to put him down. Oh god. Uh Okay. Well, let's go to Marzipan. Yeah. Go. And go. Go. Do I have to put the thing away? Here you go. Put the thing away. Now go. Uh, what? Put that down. Go. Go to it. Yeah, there we are. Mail. <laughs> balloons, pop them. Don't touch the balloons. Do you know how hard it is to find eco friendly mylar? Map. All right, let's. Ooh, loose dirt. I saw the loosest soil I've ever seen. Not that I spend a lot of my time staring at soil or anything, but man, so loose. Is there anything? I think this little patch of ground has already horked up its share of treasure today. Cell phone? Nope. That won't do anything interesting. Get put back. Marzipan's welcome mat is where people leave all kinds of stuff, like bottles of freshly squeezed soy milk, underground newspapers, and on special occasions, flaming sacks of crap. Mm, should we go around back first? Yeah, why not? A hedge. I don't know much about shrubbery, but I know an unclipped red-headed step hedge when I see one. Am I supposed to clip him? Oh, she's in the back. Oh, oh wow. Much better. Talk to her. Hey! Uh, wow, a lot. I heard an ugly rumor that there's going to be a party here and I'm not invited. Oh, that's not a rumor. Good! It's a cold hard fact. But, uh, why? Do you remember what happened the last time I invited you to a party? Behold! I am Lord Bargelbroth! Come for your souls! All will kneel before my style! Look out! <laughs> No, not really. That figures. Celebration? I still don't see why I can't come to your stupid party that I hate. Well, I was willing, but Homestar said no way. Parenthetically, I don't think he likes you very much. I heard an ugly rumor that there's going to... Yep. Oh, that's... Good! It's a cold... Yeah, right. yep. Okay. Mm, 
Good or bad? We're bad. Nice dorkerations, Marzipan. Hey, I've been working on those for a week. Week is right. Maybe you should have tried working on them for a strong. <laughs> Go away, strong bad. Uh, bad again. Is there something different about you today? Why, yes. Because I can't really make anything out. The sheen off your oily forehead. It's too blinding. I don't like to use the word hate, so I use the word chonk. I really chonk you, strong bad. I chonk you with the passion of a thousand exploding whales. Uh, let's be mean one more time. Nice dorker. Yep, okay. We. Oui. <laughs> Good. Did you make all these decorations? That's so sweet of you to ask. Why, yes, all of these party decorations were handcrafted by me, myself, and I. I grew the bamboo for the tiki torches in my underground terrarium, ground the paint pigments for the victory banner from a variety of rose petals in my garden, and completed a three-week course in ironworking at the local community college so that I could hand smelt the cute little homestar float over there. Wow, that was a lot of words. Uh, let's be good again. Did you do something different with your hair? I can't even smell it from here. Why, yes, thank you for noticing. I've added just a little bit of muskrat sweat to my <clears> usual <throat> mixture of henna and flaxseed oil. I know what you're thinking. What about the increased viscosity and split ends you usually get with muskrats? Well, here's the secret. Free range muskrats. It's amazing how much high quality sweat you can get out of a muskrat when it's being raised in a loving and stress-free environment. Yeah, amazing. <laughs> I can't believe you're throwing such a big party for such a small brain. Who? Oh yeah, Homestar. Well, I was just planning to throw a big party celebrating my award-winning organic vegetable garden, but no one seemed to want to come to that. So I added Homestar into the mix, and now everyone's coming. Ahem. <clears throat> Almost everyone. Thank you. So this Homestar Victory Party is just an excuse to show off your garden? It's more like one of the universe's happy synchronicities. Like when a whale eats a fisherman, or you walk into a wall. Hey, I only did that twice! I can't believe you're throwing such a big party for- Yep. Who? Any fish? <clears throat> Almost every- Come on. There we are. That shrub out front looks like it's made out of the ugly sticks that someone beat it with. Isn't it just the saddest thing you've ever seen? I'd trim it, but my head shears are in the shop. The head shears fixing shop? Well, Bub's concession stand, but he likes to call it a shop. Again? So your shears are over at Bub's, right? As far as I know. So your shears... Yep. As far as I know. Homestar tells me that you've got my Snake Boxer 5 manual. Oh, yeah. I was going to use it in my Homestar float. Arr! Not to worry. I gave the manual to Coach Z. He likes to look at the pictures. All right. Nice. Hey, look at the invisible time. Bye now. Bye, Strong Bad. Mm, okay. Good job. Look at the float. Whoa, that is one seriously ginormous version of Homestar. Do you like it? The paper is made from 100% vegetable products from my prize-winning organic garden. I always suspected Homestar was a big vegetable. Victory. Victory for Homestar Garden Party. Talk about counting your armless chickens before they hatch. I like to think of it as positive thinking. If I can visualize Homestar winning the race, then he will win the race. You're about to make me start positive puking. I visualized that yesterday. You know, uh -oh. it kind of sort of looks like this party is more about showing off your garden than celebrating Homestar's unlikely racing prowess. Don't be silly, Strombad. I never put the needs of my rhododendrons, marigolds, and okra above those of, um... Homestar. Right, Homestar. Honey patch. Mmm, ripe, stinky onions. I better pick a few in case I need to make an emergency stew later on or something. Ooh. The rest of these onions need a few more weeks to blossom into their full, stinky potential. Nice. Float. Very look at the float. Uh... we go inside? Inside? 
Front door. I'm back here, strong bad. Oh, okay, I was probably supposed to do that first. All right. Let's go to the map. Okay, let's see. Oh, man. My map is looking a bit undernourished. I need to throw Bob's concession stand up here somewhere. Put it right behind the house. Wanna buy something? Everybody wanna buy something? Uh, sure. Bob's! Strong man, shouldn't you be beating the snot out of Homestar or something? How do you know about that? I'm your internet provider, man. I read all your email. All right, we're gonna continue talking to Bubs in the next one. I'm enjoying this, doing this a lot. <laughs>